Hey there, my name is Taylor Ludwig and welcome to another episode of The Poor Men's Workshop. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you five tools that I use every single day in the shop that are all under $10. To start out with, I wanna share with you guys one product that I really, really love. It's this Bucket Boss. You'll see me wear this a lot. All of the tools that I share with you actually go inside of this. I really like uh, this side pouch. There's plenty of ones out there, um, but I really like this one from Bucket Boss. So yeah, that's just a, a good shout out. That's not one of the tools, but. So to start off, I'm gonna share my number one favorite tool for under $10, which is a lever lock or self locking tape measures, specifically the lever lock or the self locking tape measures. The nice thing about them is that when you pull them open, they're gonna stay. You don't have to click that switch to make it lock. All you have to do is press this little lever on the back and it will shut it automatically. I like the lever lock ones. In fact, if I ever come in contact with a regular tape measure that has the little button, I wanna chuck it through the wall. I'd rather just press the button once to release the lock than having to press the button to, to lock it in and release it. So it's just a personal preference. I like these lever lock tape measures. Number two on my list is a spring-loaded center punch. Now these things are pretty cheap. I use mine a lot when I'm marking center for when I need to use a Forstner bit or my drill press. I also use it with my lathe work. It's good to mark that center punch hole so that you can get the tail stock and the head stock all uh, matched up correctly so that you can get directly center of your lathe turning blank. These are really inexpensive, really nice to have on hand. Number three on my list is a big giant crayon. You'll see me use these a lot when I'm marking up rough lumber that needs to be milled down. I'll usually scribble across the face of the wood before it goes through the joiner and then again before it goes through the planer. This just helps me to see clearly as it passes through the high spots that the planer has hit or the joiner has hit so that I can make sure that I get the entire board milled and squared up. They're also good for marking parts in big build plans. The nice thing about a crayon is that it's very easy to sand off and they don't make any additional marks like maybe a pen or a pencil might. Uh, these run about 98 cents at the big box store. They're really, really inexpensive and I use them every single day. Number four on my list is a mini speed square. They call them a trim square. You can get obviously bigger speed squares. I don't necessarily have them right next to me. I do have some bigger speed squares and squares that I use. I mainly use this just to check quickly if something is square before I glue it up or I you know, nail it in or put a screw in or whatever. So number four is the mini speed square. Number five on my list is a good utility knife. Now this one's made from Husky. It's a little bit more expensive, but there are cheaper ones out there. This one's about five bucks on Amazon. It's just nice to have a utility knife Utility knives are good to have to open new packages. Like if you picked up new hardware uh, for a project or a new tool, it's always nice to have a utility knife. I also actually use my utility knife to mark certain projects. Again, you can find them for about five bucks. You can get them more expensive. This one's probably about $20. Utility knife is number five on my list. So there you have it. Those are the five tools that I use every single day in the shop and they're all under $10. I'd recommend to go out and, and pick you up them. They will make your life a little bit easier in the wood shop. Again, get something to carry them, whether it be the apron that you, you use as a woodworker. It's not my style, but some people like to do that. All of the products that I've shown here in this video are in the description below. If you'd like to check them out, none of them are sponsored. These are strictly just products that I like and just wanna share with you as a, another builder on a budget. If you haven't had a chance yet, make sure you subscribe and like the channel. And like I always say, never stop creating.